So this is Gary Ananda Sangari. I'm the member of parliament for Scarborough Rouge Park in Canada. And I want to take a moment to reflect on the 37th anniversary of Black July. The fateful days in July of 1983, starting on the, the night of the 22nd, were armed Sinhalese mobs uh, who had electoral list of Tamil homes went door to door uh, and hurt and killed over 3,000 Tamils and displaced over a million people. They looted uh, the Tamil businesses and homes and essentially displaced the entire community in Colombo. This sparked a 26 year armed conflict that ended in 2009, uh, May 18th. And since then, the Tamil community, uh, both in the United Kingdom as well as around the world, have been yearning for justice. Those accountable for war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide have evaded these accusations. The report from the uh, Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights in 2015 established that war crimes and crimes against humanity had taken place. Sri Lanka, under the previous government, entered into what's called Resolution 30-1, which was renewed um, as, as late as last year uh, with 40-1. And up until now, uh, they have not taken any steps towards addressing their commitments to the international community. In fact, the new administration under Gotabaya Rajapaksha, who himself is an alleged war criminal, um, have repudiated their commitment to the international community and are essentially walking away from this process. After 10 years of dragging their feet, uh, the Sri Lankan government has demonstrated to the world that they're, they're failing and their failures to address issues of accountability and justice. This is unacceptable. But one thing for clear, one thing that is clear is that those who evade justice cannot evade it forever. As we've seen in Cambodia, as we've seen it in, in many of the former Nazi um, war criminals and others who've been involved in international atrocities, they will be brought to justice. And I don't believe Sri Lanka and those um, implicated are any different. We've seen modest actions. I know the United States, for example, have uh, recently uh, imposed a travel ban on Shavendra da Silva, um, who is uh, very much a wanted criminal. Uh, I know other countries, including the United Kingdom, who just brought in their, the Magnitsky Act, uh, are contemplating uh, additional measures, and so is Canada. So I look forward to working with the British Tamil Forum and my brothers and sisters in the United Kingdom and around the world to ensure that justice prevails. I, like many of you, are, have been affected by the 1983 programs. I um, came to Canada as a result of what was happening in Colombo, as it was unsafe for me to return there while my family was living in Dublin at that time. And this is a very personal issue for me, as is for many of you. And my thoughts and prayers are with you and your families as you reflect on this enormous tragedy, but also a moment for us to recommit to the work that lies ahead to ensure that we get lasting peace, reconciliation, justice, and above all, accountability. Thank you.